Hello, it's me, Sunfire SG, and welcome back to our 8x8 tutorial series. Today we're taking on the challenge of a starter house in a very small area. Now you may be looking at this build behind me and going, Sunfire, Deep Slate, not really an early game starter house material, and I agree. I just wanted to play around with the textures a little bit, and I do love how Deep Slate looks as a sort of contrast to the cobble roof, but we can actually change that for easier to gather resources. So we've got some spruce planks in place of the deep slate here, and it still looks lovely. I really like how it looks. And with most of my tutorials, you can swap out these materials as you see fit, depending on what biome you start in and how you want to go about building it. So if you want to pause the video here, you can have a look at what we're going to be doing with these resources here. There is also a list of these in the description. So gather up what you need and let's get started. First step, choose where you want your door to be. Put down a block for your flooring and put a door on top. Then we can put our brick block on either side of that. Two cobblestone on top of that brick and a cobblestone stair upside down above the door. Grab your oak logs and come up by four. One, two, three, four. Have one coming at this side and one coming at that side. Same on here. One, two, three, four. One here and one here and then join them up with three oak logs in between. For the facades we want to put in two brick blocks here, two brick blocks here. Fill this in with four cobblestone and this in with two cobblestone and place two white stained glass panes there. We want to grab our oak log and put one on top there and one on top there and then an oak wood piece here and here just to prevent the end of the log showing on the build. Now we're going to do exactly the same again, but one block to the left and flip sort of 180 degrees. So we want to get two brick, one, two, and then just in by one block here, two. I'm going to fill all of these in with cobblestone. We will replace those with furnaces and stuff at a later date once the chimney's in. And then we want to grab our oak logs and go one, two, three, four. One out that way, one out that way. One, two, three, four one out that way, one out that way, one on the back, and one on the back there, grab your oak wood again, one there and one there just to cover up the ends, then we want to grab our brick again, one here and one here, then we want to go ahead and grab our endersite stairs, place one upside down against that, wrap that around there, and wrap that around there, we can then place them right side up, upside down underneath these pillars, right side up, upside down, all the way around till we get to this point here. Then we can grab our birch fence and put them just under that to support the build. Now we can go ahead and address the bay window. So we want to grab our glass panes and place one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then the full blocks, one, two. Grab your oak logs again and bring those across, one, two, and three. Go ahead and put the stone buttons on there as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring up these by four more oak logs. One, two, three, four, same here here and here. Now I have done a bit of variation in this one with the stripped oak logs. I like how it looks. In the plan we've only got the oak planks because resources, if you do want to do that, that's a great lock to put in as a bit of a texture break. But for now, let's build this up. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and there with a stained glass pane window right there. We can go across to this side here. We're going to put another little window in here like that. And I believe that's all the windows. I don't think I put any on this side, did I? Oh, I did there, just there. Cool. So let's put in a window there as well. Sneaky little window in this side. And then we can fill in the rest of this with the oak planks. And a little window here as well. So three across, extra three on top, one in the middle there, and your glass panes like so. This is how you should have the build looking at this point. We can now start our roof section. So we want to bring our spruce 
stairs across this way. Start stepping it up here and here. We're going to come up by one, two, one block, uh, one stair that way, upside down stair there, one on top, one here, and now we're in the middle, so we can place it like this with a stair facing outwards on the top. Same on this side, we're not doing exactly the same, so two full blocks, stir the right way, stir upside down, block on top, stir the right way, and then a stir upside down facing out, and a stir the right way up facing out. We can then go ahead and fill that in with our cobblestone for the rest of the roof. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, stairs on top, cobble here, one, two, three, stairs on top, full blocks of cobble right behind, and then we'll use some slabs, one, two, three, across the top there. Now this side is a little different, so we want to grab our full block of spruce, one, two, three stairs, upside down, two on top, right way, upside down, one on top, and right way up. Now we can go ahead and do the cobblestone, which is exactly the same, so one, two, three, one, two, three, cobblestone here, stairs, one, two, three, and cobblestone stairs here. Head back round to the other side. We want to leave a gap on this block here as that is where our chimney pipe is going to be coming up. We will place a stair here, stair next to it, one upside down. We've got a full block on top and then stir upside down, right way up, in the middle and facing outwards like that. Same here, we want to go along from this full block here. One, two, three, four upside down, full block, right way up, upside down, and right way up. We can then bring that full block across here as well and a stir into this cobblestone here. We can now finish off the roof here by placing one, two, three cobblestone with three stairs on top. Next to this cobblestone stir here, we actually want to place a spruce stir with a full block next to this and a spruce stir on top of that. Now we can go ahead and put some more cobblestone here. One, two, so it matches up there. We'll go ahead and we'll add a bit of cobblestone in here. One, two, three. We might even be able to knock that block out. I'm not too sure, to be honest, but I won't worry about it too much. Now here we want to grab our cobblestone again and go one, two, three. Grab our stir. One, two, three. And then here. One, two, three. I think three actually would be better. So that's that sorted. We can grab our oak logs again and just along the top of these planks. One, two, three. And same on this side. One, two, three. Grab our windows again and our oak planks. And we will add, I believe it's right on top of that, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we can add one, two, one there and one, two with some glass panes there. We'll go ahead and we'll do the same here, but it is just the one, two planks and a pane there. Now we can place in our stone brick walls on top of these oak logs all the way to the roof line. Just all the way up, all the way around. Just to add a little bit of a support structure. We can actually grab our birch fence as well. And on that full block here, we can actually bring it down like a drain pipe round about here. Doesn't really matter. You can have it a little higher if you want, but that's fine. We'll grab our spruce slabs and we want to place one at the bottom half of this cobblestone block, the top half of the stir and the bottom half there. We'll come around to the back of this build and we'll get our spruce stirs, place one on top of the block there, wrap one into the side there and wrap one into the side here with a spruce slab on this window at this limit, so you can put a little lantern or, in this case, like a flower pot. And then we want to come across to these stairs here, one there, one there, and one slab there. That's that side done. And on this side, it's very similar. We've just got a couple of extra stir blocks there. So out this level here, we've got a slab. This level here, we've got a slab. We've got a stir upside down below the window again. So if you Want to put a flower pot decoration you can do and then we've just got some more slabs here and here and then we just need to grab a grass block or a dirt block whatever you've got 
grab your spruce trap doors and just place them against the build or against the block I should say and flip them up and then you've got a nice little window box. Now that we've got the detailing done make sure you don't forget these two slabs here as I did just to finish up that roof there then we can head inside to just kind of close up this little gap that's just peeking up here and what we need to do is just have an upside down stir against this block here with a full block on top of the oak planks, full block here and an upside down stir here. Right, now onto the chimney. Now if you've seen any of my tutorials before, chimneys are a little bit of an inexact science, you're just going to kind of play around with the shape until you're happy with it, but this is what I did exactly for this one. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the granite. Again, I've used brick in this just to break the texture up, you can do the same. We've got one, two, three blocks there and one block there. We've got a slab here, we've got a stir facing in on top of this block and a stir facing into that block as well. Then we can go ahead and grab our stirs again, have that one facing in like this and then bring this up to a desired height. So I had it, how much, how much higher than the roof line was it? That's zero, so one, two, three, four, five above that roof line. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, two stone brick walls on top, and a little flower pot there as well. You could use a campfire, similar to that, have a little bit of smoke. And that is the chimney done, apart from one final stir, just like that. But there you go, that is the start of that. So let's have a look inside uh, some of these that I've already built before, and you can have a look at what I've managed to squeeze into this space. So here we are in our lovely 8x8 test world, test village, whatever you want to call it. And we're back with our house in question. Obviously I went with the deep slate here to match the deep slate of a previous build, but the spruce one came out quite nice. So if we head inside, we can see what we've done. I've knocked out the two bricks and four cobblestone that were on this oak pillar here, and then knocked out four of the granite for the chimney to put in our furnace array. I've got a first floor, just on the fourth block up, so where these oak logs are. And then up here we've got a sleeping area and an ender chest. And then finally, on the roof level, we've actually got some more storage barrels and chests. So for a starter home, you should have plenty of storage and it's just a nice place to, to hang out, a nice little build for your world. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, let me know in the comments and let me know what you, what you want to see next. But for now, I'll leave you. See you next time.